What is going on everybody? Today we're gonna be talking about bad hair days, what the causes are, how you can actually avoid some of this stuff and some of the mindsets to take into this, right? Now, before we begin, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell below. Every time you do that, not only are you gonna stay notified, but it helps so many people get exposed to hair system content. People that have never seen before, people that are suffering from hair loss and that actually need some help on this journey. So let's get right into it, shall we? So, um, bad hair days, <laughs> what's causing them, right? There, there's really a couple different reasons and I want to do the list of what they are and then we'll break them down, right? So the first one is your hairstyle. The second one is your bond slash application. Your third reason is your hair system itself. Now, let's take each of those, break it down, and then walk a little bit further on this journey as we talk about that stuff. So let's let's go into the first one. The first one being your hair style. Um, today, guys, I really don't like this hairstyle that I got going on. Um, it's just not laying right. It doesn't feel good to me. Um, and I wanted to make the video with this hairstyle that's just a little bit off, it doesn't feel right, because I wanted to show you how, why, and how I'm dealing with it. So number one, uh, let's start with this. Even with real hair, keep in mind that you're gonna have days that your hair just doesn't look great. Uh, there's gonna be days if you had natural hair, that you just wake up, you have bed head, and things aren't laying right, or you take a shower, and uh, it just, it, it's nothing's happening right. So first, let's start directly from the clean slate. If you um, take a shower, and you decide that you don't like your hairstyle after you hairstyle it and all this kind of stuff, generally one of the reasons is is overstyling. And what do I mean by overstyling? Overstyling means that you probably got in a hurry, you were rushing through styling your hair uh, because you were late or because you wanted to, to rush through, you were in a hurry, something like this, and you didn't take your time. You have to learn, guys, how to actually manage your hair, the hair system, and get the style that you want. In order to get a more laid down style, um, this is actually just bedhead, like I haven't styled my hair today, but when I am taking a shower and I wanna have a laid down style, I completely style it different than how I style my hair when I want it to be kind of up and pushed over to the side. The difference between those two is when I'm laying it down, generally, I uh, put some leave-in conditioner in it straight out of the shower, kind of pushed off to the side a little bit and let it dry naturally. As it's drying every once in a while, I, uh, I uh, basically dry my hair very, very small amount to give it an ever so small amount of volume. And then I continue to let it dry. It takes a while. Um, as opposed to when I want to actually style my hair up, what I do is I pretty much blow dry it the whole way through. And if I'm not watching how I'm styling, especially that second one where I'm blow drying my hair, I can easily get too much volume and it's just not gonna look right. So uh, number one reason that your hairstyle isn't looking right is because you're just not styling your hair right. You're over styling it. You're in a rush, you're in a hurry, or you, you're you just not considering how your hair needs to be styled in order for the look that you want. Okay, so now that we've gone through that, let's talk about the next thing, the bond slash application. Uh, when you have a hair system, it's no secret to any of us here, that uh, the doing the bond slash the application yourself is not the easiest thing in the entire world. And in fact, sorry about this bird up above, man. It just wants to be part of the conversation. When you are styling, or when you're doing the bond and application yourself, it's pretty tough to get it perfectly like matched up, lined up, so that everything falls into its proper place. It's very easy to just get it misaligned ever so slightly. And to be honest, guys, most of my videos, because I've been doing the installs myself, a lot of my videos are with my hair system just kind of a little bit off um, because I have been learning how to slowly get better and better at applying it to myself. And it's not the easiest thing in the world. We know this. Um, 
but most people aren't going to notice. However, you're going to notice, and also it'll limit some of the hairstyles that you try. For example, not this application, I actually have this application on just like, mm, so perfectly, but the one before, uh, this hair system was like a little bit tilted to this direction, which means that there was like a little crease, almost as if like there was like a hard part that uh, someone cut in, in between my natural hair and the hair system over here. Now, because of that, I couldn't really do like the whole like pushed over into the side thing and create this part right here. I was laying my hair down exclusively because I was trying to cover that and I was trying to kind of mask that, right? Um, recognize guys, like if you're gonna be installing, reinstalling your hair system yourself, it is not going to be the easiest thing in the world. You're gonna get it wrong sometimes. Uh, you know, you have a period of time where you can actually kind of adjust it, if you will. Um, and that's great. You wanna to try to adjust it and get it perfect. Sometimes you just don't. And you know, you deal with it for a week or two weeks and you know, just kind of avoid that hairstyle. Uh, it's just, it's part of the game. Um, however, if you're having someone else install your system for you, they should 100%, 100% get it right. If it's not installed right, like that's something that they need to take care of right there. They're professionals. There's someone you're, that you're paying to have it done right and they need to be held accountable to that. There's no like, oops, I kind of like messed up. No, no, if they mess up your hair system, like if they cut it wrong or they're installing it wrong, they need to be held accountable. And you need to be brave enough to say that and say like, hey, no, this isn't right. Like, take a look at this right here. So, um, but if you are doing the install yourself, if you are uh, putting this application on yourself, there's a chance, a very good chance, that you're not gonna get it 100% right and have some grace with yourself. You know, it's go for progress, not perfection, okay? What I mean by that is don't worry about having the perfect application or the perfect hair system right now. Work on getting 1% better every single day at something that you do about this. Every single time you reinstall your hair system, get a little bit better at it. Every single time you style your hair, get a little bit better at it. Every single time you get a new haircut, pick a better haircut for you, just 1% better. And if you spend all year doing that, you're gonna be 365% better at this whole hair system game. It's, it's gonna be amazing and you're gonna learn a lot and you're gonna, your skills are gonna increase. Now let's talk about the last reason that you're, uh, you know, you're bad, you might be having a bad hair day. And this is one that, uh, you know, if you're having consistent bad hair days, right? So this is something that like, if every single time after you get a hair system, you just hate the way it looks, always. Uh, and you've tried managing your hair, like, you know, you, you've you tried styling it better. Um, and it's just, you're not really getting the results that you want. Here's the last thing it could be. It could be your hair system. Um, it could be the fact that your hair system is really one. I mean, if it's the wrong color, that's something that you got to address and it'll cause some issues for you. Number two, if it's the wrong density, um, and generally this is going to be more often than not, it's probably gonna be because it's too thick. Uh, that can cause some issues for you and cause some undesirable results. So, uh, you want to check to make sure you have the right density, go a little bit on the lighter side than uh, what you think or what you expect. Uh, so, you know, if you have really thick hair, you're probably not gonna wanna go over medium, uh, medium density, which is like, I think 120%. Uh, medium light is where most people are gonna fall. Unless you're older, you're gonna be on the light side or maybe even extra light. And, uh, but if the densities are different between your hair, that can cause a little bit of wonkiness, uh, the way it lays. Um, and of course, the, the haircut itself is the last part of it. Like this kind of goes into the last point about the bond application. But like if, if you're going to a hairstylist and they're cutting your hair for you, um, there's things that they need to know if they don't, if it's not like a dedicated like hair system applicator person, you know, that's been trained in this kind of stuff. They should know this. But as we've seen in some of my kind of like hair cringe videos that not all, not all of them know what they're doing. Um, the sides have got to be blended, got to use a razor uh, to help that transition from your hair into the hair system hair. Um, you can thin out the hair 
make sure the densities kind of match up, but also the way that the the hair lays is something that the the barber or the stylist should be concerned with, and it can get right if they've been trained. So guys, uh, I just wanted to make this video to say like, you know, every single day, it's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be perfect and that's okay. Um, everybody has bad hair days. People with hair, like their natural hair have bad hair days. And uh, you know, they just move on. They go on with it. They just say like, oh, I'm having a bad hair day. Don't let it stop you. Don't let it discourage you. Don't let it freak you out. Thinking that like, oh, my hair looks a little bit off. Um, that people are gonna find out about you um, because the chances are they're probably just gonna be like, hmm, uh, you know, Jake just looks like Jake today. Um, they probably won't even know that you're having necessarily a bad hair day, let alone a bad hair system day. Um, that's in your mind and it's a, it's a limiting belief slash. It's something that you're just, you, you need to get over. Everyone has bad hair days. Um, I'm having a bad hair day right now and it's okay, right? Like it, it is what it is. Um, anyways, guys, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell below, and we will talk soon.